Hey guys, this is Jessica from Peterson SEO. Thanks again for speaking with me today and requesting your video. So today we're just going to go over a few tips you can apply right away. That's really going to help you online and to get more leads. Since you do have the two separate websites, I've had to break up your video into two parts. Um, Core has one video and Cleanup Restoration of New England has the other. Because there are variations to your information, it was important to do it separately. So, um, as I said before, 70% of your organics come from your website. So, it's going to be really critical that your website be properly optimized so you can capture that traffic. All right. So, this is a nice looking website as well. Um, you got the good click to call number up here, making it easy for your customers. That's awesome. Um, Connecticut Damage Restoration Services. So that's a good keyword usage. Um, you have separate pages for each of your services, which is awesome. Um, you want to make sure that all of these pages have original content and enough content. You want to make sure that you're focusing the content around your services and those local buyer intent keywords. Um, these pages don't really have much as far as content goes. And there is no local buyer intent keywords being used. So it's really important that you have enough content and you use those local keywords, not just your branding. Because what people are searching for on Google mostly is for your services. So it's going to be really, really important to focus on those local buyer intent keywords on your entire website. Make sure that you're focusing your services and homepage on one specific location. And then you're going to want separate pages for your other service areas. Um, okay, so this looks pretty similar to the other one, pretty similar setup. A uh, little bit of information, but again, these are national keyword terms and you have to focus on the local buyer intent keywords. And there's not enough content here to even be indexed for those keywords. You have to have a repetition of about three of your keywords to even get picked up by Google. So this homepage is going to need at least 1500 words or more depending on what your competition is doing. If your competitors have more, you're going to need more as well. Um, okay, so now if we look at your top competitor, we have Disaster Restoration Services. They also have a nice looking site. They have all the separate pages for their services. They have separate service area pages, which allows them to be shown organically. And multiple service areas. Um, they have pretty similar setup as you guys, not enough content going on here. Um, so they should be fairly easy for you guys to beat, but you definitely do have to work on your content and keyword strategy and then make sure you're supporting your website with SEO because without it, your website is really not going to be found online, at least not easily. All right. So here are your metrics for cleanup restoration of New England. You have a rating of a 0.1 out of 100 in Google's trust flow, which means Google does not trust your website. That's 100% based on your backlinks and referring domains. Not all of these are created equal. You want to make sure you're only going after the highly authoritative do follow link. Um, Google only gives you credit for one backlink per referring domain. And a referring domain is just any website that will provide your website with a link. And the backlink is the physical link coming from another website to your site. The whole purpose is to drive traffic to your website. If we look here, you only have seven do follow referring domains. So you only have seven links doing anything remotely to help your website. You have been indexed for 46 keywords and on average, you're seeing approximately 20 people to your website. 
looking at your keywords. You do have a few keywords on the first page, but here is the problem. You are going after the same keyword on multiple pages. This is called keyword cannibalization. And because you have it on multiple pages, you're not being indexed properly and you're not actually showing up when you should be in searches. So you definitely need to redo your content and refocus your keyword strategy. Your competitor has a rating of a 12 with over 600 backlinks, over 200 referring domains. Of those, 151 are due follows. So you do need to beat their 151 referring domains in quantity as well as quality. They have been indexed for over 600 keywords and they're getting over a thousand people to their site, even though they're not fully optimized. So it just shows you the traffic that you guys should be getting on both of your websites. Um, so you're definitely going to need to optimize your site and support it with backlinks to support your keywords and get them ranking. And the last part is this Google My Business section. Um, cleanup restoration does not appear in the top three here. Um, I don't know if they are for other service areas or keywords, but it is critical because 30% of people search here and don't search anywhere else. So when you're not listed here, you send those leads to your competition. There are several factors when it comes to um, getting in the top three. But the most important are your citations as the name of your business, your address, phone number, and website, and listing those in a bunch of directories like Yelp, Yellow Pages, and Glassdoor. So you do need a lot more of those than your competition. But when you follow each of these tips I provided you today, your website does have the opportunity to be number one across Google for each of your services and service areas. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful and informative and would love your feedback. If you have any questions at all, go ahead and give me a call at the number on the screen and we can chat. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.